these students won't find much use for their books in this struggle of brute strength. That way. That way. This way. This way. This way. Okay, now back the other way. But their next contest will be different. <laughs> Using brain power, they'll be designing and building tug-of-war machines. And that'll be a true test of strength in such things as mechanics and physics and engineering. The real thing, the winning machine, will be built from these parts, provided for each student in MIT's latest mechanical engineering design competition. It's a tug of war that begins with a rope lanyard centered on the playing field and connecting the two machines. Now the odd part. The machine on the left starts on the far side of the center line, but pulls toward its owner when the contest begins. Again, your machine always starts on the far side of the playing field. The goal is somehow to pull more than half the rope onto your side of the table by the end of 30 seconds. Over 200 students set to work. With only six weeks to build their machines, techniques and ideas quickly start to take shape. It's really thick, though. It's really strong. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> you can't have strong and not thick. thick. A racing car is Sandy's idea, with direct drive wheels providing the advantage of speed. This is going to get up that hill and hopefully stay there. Students are required to keep detailed notes of their concepts and progress. Stan's fraternity won the competition two years ago. They're hoping to regain the honor. A tractor with arm is Stan's idea. The arm with lanyard attached lowers quickly to extend the rope. But the whole thing will be on a strong pulling tractor, a combination that Stan hopes will win. Winning's everything. That, that's, I mean, when you're trying to design something, you've got a purpose in mind, and you might as well be the best at it if you're going to go through all this work. <laughs> Gene's arm shoots the rope out from a stationary base, but already he knows there's a problem. What I'm worried about is an opponent can pull on my arm, which will allow him to win, and I can't do anything about it. Suction cups, a possible way to anchor a base or an arm, designed and tested by Dave and Mike. Incredible speeds. Early efforts for the suction cup look promising. But soon, rumors spread of an unbeatable machine. Bill's been secretly perfecting a suction pump with arm, which today he'll test for the first time. By the second stroke, the pump anchors to the table, while the arm fires in less than a second. My idea was to get there first and stay there. So once it's set, I'm there and they can't move me. Would be the winner, Professor Harry West. Most students fear that this powerful suction device will win. But there's always a possibility it won't. It could break on the night. The machine is not 100% reliable. And there are 220 students who are all working to find, to try and find its Achilles heel. A shooting wall, for instance, could block the enemy. Like that. That's Jin's idea. So I'm going to cage him in and we're going to play in my field. The students are now in their, making their last desperate attempts to get their machines up and running. Tomorrow, it's all over. Today, some students are adding new features to their machines because they've seen what the competition has to offer. Other students, of course, have left it to the last moment for building their machines. They're trying to build their entire machine today. That probably won't work. Their machines aren't going to work tomorrow night, but they'll have fun anyway. We are, we are, we are the engineers. engineers. We can, we can, we can. It's a capacity crowd. 200 machines, six rounds. Contestants have been paired by a random draw, so the winner will need luck as well as an effective machine. Start your engine. Yeah! Sandy's racing car dashes out, pulling the lanyard onto her side of the playing field, just as planned. But then her opponent, Corinna's tractor-like vehicle, begins to tug at her. Geared down, it's slow but strong, so pulls the rope back onto her side for a win by the end of 30 seconds. because you have a suction device with a long arc extending arm against a power machine. The power machine on the left is another tractor. On the right, the extending arm shoots out with the lanyard attached, and the suction pump tries in vain to hold the base in position. You learn that if you're going to build an extending arm 
where the suction device is going to be very good or it's going to lose out to a power machine. Power machine one. Will the suction cup on Dave's arm be a more effective anchor? Once his machine fires, the arm pulls the rope just onto his side. His opponent's arm was twisted around, lacking anything to keep it in place. And despite his opponent's efforts with a vehicle to dislodge the suction cup, it remains solid for a narrow win. Bill's suction pump is next. I'm pretty much convinced that if everything works the way it's supposed to, and the way it's worked in practice, it's the right strategy. And if something stops working, then I should have picked something a little less sensitive. In the foreground, his arm and suction perform flawlessly. He's on his way. Ready, get set, go. At the top of the screen, the power machine tractor up again, this time against Reggie's four to one tractor, whose greater pulling force drags the power machine backward, the rope crossing the line, and Reggie's four to one holds on strong in position for the win. We call a four to one gear ratio. My gear ratio was bigger than his. Plus the fact that my weight distribution was more in the back. So maybe that's why, and also a little bit of luck as well, too. By the third round, Orina's tractor in the foreground is still in the running. But this time, the contest is more of a struggle. Despite her efforts to pull and tug, her opponent has a break and stays planted firmly in winning position. On the left, Stan's tractor arm fires, and the machine slowly rolls out, its strength pulling his opponent's racing wedge helplessly backward. Stan's already had two wins, and at the end of 30 seconds, he racks up another one. All is in place for Bill's much-feared suction pump, up again. As before, its operation is flawless. The arms fired and the suction works. But incredibly, the lanyard's no longer attached to his arm, and his opponent moves on to an easy victory. Stunned in disbelief, what happened? The lanyard was correctly clipped to the arm at the start. But by this point, the rope's been thrown free. It seems the arm fired with such force it somehow opened the clip and let it fly off. Judges denied a rematch since the clip's in working order. But it's a devastating loss for a machine that just might have been too powerful for its job. It's a tough lesson for a young engineer to accept that the unpredictable sometimes happens. I'm really ready. I'm ready. I'm going for it. Jim's shooting wall is up against Tiger Man and his helper. Just as planned, the wall shoots out, caging the tiger in, while Jim's tiny vehicle runs off with the rope. Next round, another success. But in the fifth round, while setting up his elaborate trigger, he accidentally fires it. Now he's got to reload within the 20-second setup time allowed. Jim and his helper work frantically against the clock. The opponent sits and waits, and Jim decides he must abandon his wall mechanism altogether. On the right, his little vehicle alone is his only hope. And it's not doing badly. The lanyard's on his side. But once the larger vehicle starts to maneuver, there's not much left to do but say farewell to hope. Tonight, hope comes in all shapes and sizes and speeds. And ideas that work in theory may not always perform in practice. I have this cardboard thing that drops sack sawdust and grit particles that I had from cutting up my machine. It drops it in front of the other guy, so he can't get traction on the aluminum surface. Hurry up! It works! Hurry up! We're gonna be up next! On the left, 
The dust machine dumps sawdust in front of the rebel tractor, and sure enough, the rebel loses traction and starts to swing around as Matthew's dust machine pulls toward him and his loyal coach. That's it. You turn him around, just like the parking lot, which is sitting there waiting for one to come out. Look at it. It isn't moving. <laughs> and it's victory for sawdust, and on to the next round. Stan's tractor arm fires again, still on the scene. Once more, it pulls slowly but surely to another wind. On the left, Reggie's four-to-one tractor is going strong with its system of gears and pulleys against his racing car opponent. In this round, it seems the four to one gear ratio can once more reliably do the job. Get set, go. Next round for Matthew's dust machine and a chance to prove that anti-traction is not its only strength. Four competitors remain, and the audience gets set for the semi-finals. Tractor arm fires again, rolls slowly, and tugs its opponent to a dead halt. Stan works hard to angle his machine, giving himself as much rope as possible, and staying steady in position for the duration. He's through to the finals. Reggie's four to one tractor cuts its way right through Matt's sawdust, with deep tread on his wheel still giving him enough traction. Reggie's four to one gear ratio once more provides that irresistible force. Matt and his coach hold on for their lives, but there's little they can do as Reggie stands fast for the win. Next, the final moments of truth between two tractors. Stan's tractor arm, a strong puller with the added advantage of extra reach. Up against Reggie's four to one tractor, a powerful tugger. The arm snaps into action and the four to one rolls out. And then, trouble. Stopped in its tracks, the four to one's been pulled around Reggie struggles to hold on and tug back, but slowly, surely, Stan's tractor arm keeps up its advance. Reggie's problem, a mechanical breakdown, cutting his power in half. The, the situation, hopeless. Ingenious design and reliable performance, and Stan's tractor arm takes the prize. not only engineering science, but also to be creative and to not build something that's pretty, but something that succeeds, something that works. The two machines that competed in the final tonight were not the prettiest machines, but they did the job very effectively.